guys, thanks for joining me for part two of my June 2017 Bring Back My Bar Haul. Uh, if you didn't watch the first video, scroll back and check it out. I'm bringing you 11 of 20 of my favorite scents from this year's winners. Uh, jumping right back into it, my bar number five is Orange Dreamsicle. Um, saw this as a winner, knew I had to have it, ordered a six pack. Absolutely, like this is my all time favorite frosted treat. Mm. I don't know about you, but scents really evoke memories for me. Um, this reminds me of mm, summer evenings. My dad would get home from work cleaning out his work truck, and he'd always stop at the store and get me and my brother popsicles or treats, or the Dickadee would come by. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that, but you know, the guy on the bike with the ice cream. Yep, and there I was, eating my orange creams to go, dripping orange stickiness all over my dad's tools. That's exactly what this reminds me of. And Sensi gets it right. Like, they get it. It's not an orange citrus. It's orange popsicle with vanilla ice cream. They get it. It's not trying to be an orange popsicle. It is an orange popsicle in a clamshell. Let's read the scent notes. So, Orange Dream School says, a classic combination of fresh orange swirled with vanilla cream. That's it. That's exactly what it is. If not for you, for me, please vote 2018. Bring back my bar. So the next couple on the list are ones that I wasn't sure. And I always play it safe with my home fragrance. I'm like, yeah, I know I like that. Or yeah, I've tried that before. I'm now, maybe because I'm a consultant, I'm trying to branch out a little bit, trying to be a little bit more experimental, right? So watch some YouTube videos, seen a couple reviews, read a few things. So I'm like, let's try, switch it up a little bit, try something different. So the next one um, is Hawaiian Paradise. I've never tried Hawaiian Paradise. I've heard good things. Um, and I love anything that smells like summer or reminds me of tropical vacations in the past. So I thought Hawaiian Paradise is going to be a winner, right? I'm telling you, like, my nose is this far. I don't even have to smell it. It's that strong. It's not bad, like I make the most terrible faces sometimes when things are strong, but it's strong. And not only strong, I find that there's a lot going on with this scent. Um, pineapple is definitely what I smell, primarily pineapple, and it's not sweet pineapple, it's a tart pineapple, which is different. Um, but I think maybe not so much strong as I find this one a little overpowering because there's so much going on. Like I definitely smell mango, maybe a citrus. I can't figure out if it's banana or coconut because both banana and coconut tend to make a creamy scent. And there's definitely papaya, which isn't really my favorite. Maybe that's why I'm thinking it's a little overpowering. There's a lot going on with this bar. Let's read the scent notes on this. Um, I don't not like it. Hawaiian Paradise, where are you? Hawaiian Paradise is a buffet of Hawaiian fruits, pineapple, banana, mango, papaya, and coconut. Okay. Buffet is the perfect explanation. This is, there's a lot going on in here. Um, perhaps once I try it in a warmer, I find sometimes when you warm it, um, like maybe just the pineapple notes will come through and the rest will kind of like be subtle. It's just a very, very busy scent. Um, I'm going to have to try and warm this, maybe make a follow-up video and see how it turns out. I'm not going to give up on Hawaiian Paradise, but I might use it as a mixer with like simply vanilla. Do something 
simple to kind of just smooth it out, tone it down a bit, because this is loud, really loud. Uh, Hawaiian Paradise. If you like summer, blow your socks off tropical, Hawaiian Paradise is for you. The next one I didn't really know what to expect was Bamboo Sugar Cane, but, you know, trying to be experimental, trying out new things. I don't really know what bamboo smells like. I'm sure I smelt it before, but I can't put my nose on it. Um, anyhow, from what I read and what I heard, it was good. So it's a beautiful peachy colored wax. Um, I don't know what to say about this one. It's a very refreshing scent. Like it's like smells clean, definite, definite top citrus notes. Right away, that's why you smell. I smell like grapefruit or orange, like really, really citrusy. Maybe the bamboo is what I get, like the woody scent of almost, I would say masculine, but definitely unisex. Like I think guys could probably get down with bamboo sugar cane for sure. And the sugar cane is smooth and mellow, but sweet. Um, probably a top performer. Like, I'm going to guess that this has got some definite power to it. Uh, it's worth a try. Like, I, um, not a super fan yet, but I also haven't warmed it. So we're going to try and warm it. And who knows? I might love it. It might turn out to be a favorite. So, since he says, a sparkling splash of citrus and sweet florals. Hmm. That's even more surprising because I don't smell floral at all with bamboo sugarcane. I don't like floral. Bamboo sugarcane, to me, is refreshing, citrus, clean. If you like that, bamboo sugarcane is for you. Not at all girly either. It's a good one. I'm probably going to use that in, like, uh, my office. I have like um, I don't know, it's not a mud room, this big entryway to my new house now. So I don't know, I think that that will be a really inviting, refreshing, bam, smell when people first walk in, like my entryway of my new house. So yeah, I'll definitely be using that one in the near future. Refreshing, surprising, different. I like it. So the next one was <laughs> my wish and I heard about as much roar about my wish as I did happy birthday so obviously I'm like hmm, I gotta figure out what my wish is all about I quickly checked the scent notes before I placed my personal order and right off the top I saw fig whoa pump the brakes I don't like fig nothing with fig and again, I think it's because scents evoke so many memories for me. Um, brings me back to when my brother and I were younger and my mom used to pack our lunches. Our friends would have stuff like chewy marshmallow chocolatey granola bars, fruit by the foot, fruit gushers, like you name it. All these delicious things you see on the commercials. My brother and I would get straight up fruits which obviously my parents were trying to do the hippie good thing for us and not give us processed sugars and la 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 la. But we'd always have Fig Newton bars in our map sacks for like lunch recess or snack recess or whatever. Disgusting. I still to this day don't know what those bars are all about. When I was little, I used to think it was for old people like geriatric keep your regular bar. I don't know why my mom wanted to feed us that, but Fig Newtons are disgusting. So usually Fig and I are not friends, um, but I wanted to see what all the hype was about. So I ordered one of my wish, just in case it was super gross. It's a beautiful purple wax. I love the color of these waxes, especially in like a simplistic white warmer. I don't know. I'm a sensey super geek, I guess, but I love the purple wax. Matches my nails today. This one, let me tell you, I, I had to break the bar already just because I was shocked. 
this is beautiful. Um, definitely get like an earthy fig, but really light, really, really light fig scent. It's not overpowering at all. There's a slight floral undertone. I'm pretty sure it's violet. Violet, violet leaf, violet something. And then either vanilla or sugar cane. Something is toning it down, making it really smooth and sweet, but not intoxicating. This was an absolute blow my mind surprise because usually Fig and I are not friends. My wish, let's read the scent notes, see if I'm right. A confection of earthy fig, sweet violet, and playful marshmallow. <laughs> we'll have you wishing for more. No joke. I only bought one. I am definitely wishing for more. My wish. Vote. Vote my wish for Bring Back My Bar 2018. Something tells me it's going to be a winner again because it's pretty popular. And now I know why. <laughs> so my last two bars, I am a sucker for men's fragrances. When I was a kid, I used to always wear my brother's Ralph Lauren polo. Um, then I used to wear my ex's Dolce & Gabbana. I, I love men's fragrance. It's crisp, clean, refreshing, sexy, the whole nine yards. So these two... Um, we're very masculine from the notes that I remember. The first one was business casual. Uh, I only ordered one of these. Which makes me really sad because this is pure sex in a cam bleh, clamshell. It's to die for. It really is. Um, it's not overpowering. It's very refreshing, not musky, not heavy. It's got a really light peppery scent to it. And I, I can't even begin to guess what else. But this is for sure going to be a bedroom bar for me. This is sexy. Probably even in the bathroom. I love this. Business casual. I know Sensi used to have a layers line, which was like bath and body products, um, they don't carry it anymore, but they used to have that in business casual. Had I been a consultant back then, I probably would have rubbed this all over my body all the time. It's delicious. Let's read the scent notes for business casual. Here we go. A fusion of exotic cardamom, which I love. Love that, that's why. Intriguing caraway, lively pepper, and fragrant woods with a powdery wisp of orange blossom. That's it. That's exactly what I smell. And it, it's fabulous. So, men, if you're paying attention, bring back my bar. Business casual is for you. Last, but certainly not least, was Hendrix. Not sure if I was super stoked about something I read in the notes, or I'm like, I love Jimi Hendrix but I ordered five of these. So something back in June must have piqued my interest. Um, it's a really beautiful green. Oh, and now I know why. Now I know exactly why. Oh, it's patchouli all the way. Patchouli is my soul's scent. Anything with patchouli, like whoo. That's my favorite. Oh, okay. I take it back. This, maybe both, but this is pure sex in a clamshell, okay? This is to die for. Patchouli and a little bit of pepper. Not sure. There's like a weird floral to it. I don't know what it is, but it's masculine. It's obviously, it's not a girly floral. This is amazing. I don't even know how to describe this other than delicious, sexy, perfection. 
addictive. Uh, I have no idea why they named it after Hendrix. Uh, addictive, like sleeping pills, booze, and LSD, you think, Jimi Hendrix? I don't know. Let's figure it out. Hendrix says, where is it? Oh, rock and roll with an electrifying blend of earthy patchouli. Oh, that's what it is. Glowing sandalwood. That's the romance I smell all over this. Sandalwood is so romantic. Uh, and bold pink pepper harmonized with sweet tobacco flower. There's the floral notes. There we go. My favorite. Probably Hendrix out of all of them is probably my favorite. Or Spring Symphony. Oh my goodness. I miss Spring Symphony. We don't have time for that. I will make a separate video for Spring Symphony. Remind me because it came out in the flash sale. So when I do my haul video from the flash sale, I will more than make it up for Spring Symphony. Hendrix Spring Symphony, definitely my 2017 winners in my books. I have tons in my personal stash. It was great. 2017 Bring Back My Bar didn't disappoint. Um, these again are my personal stash. Not for sale, unfortunately, no longer available. But if you want samplers of anything you see here, shoot me a message as long with all, along with all of your details and I will send you a sample of anything you've seen out of my personal collection. Thanks for joining me. Look forward to doing more videos in the very near future. If you haven't already, like my Facebook page. All my details and my website are down below. Join me again next time.